Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Phoenix Ray Ace Attorney. I'm Samurai TX and I'm Salt Snake. And we are in the middle of a trial here, and we are about to get a second testimony from Miss April May. Yeah. We're gonna get it. We're gonna take her down because she's lying. Let's do this, Samurai. Yeah, let's do this, shall we? I did see everything. I did. The victim, the woman, dodged the, the first attack and ran off to the right. Then the girl in the hippie claws ran after her. And she hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. That that clock. That kind of statue clock. The finger, I think. Well, does the, ac does the accuracy of my report not startle you? Tee hee. Hmm. I see. I only wish you had been so detailed from the beginning. Please begin the cross-examination with pleasure. Okay, let's press you. So, you saw me then too? Of course! I remember that spiky hair anyway. Spiky? The witness will refrain from pertinent attacks on the defense attorney. Oh, uh, I was a bad girl. I'm sorry. I won't continue. Okay. Is that right as in your right as you looked for the hotel? Um, which hand do I hold my knife in here? Right. It was my right hand. Right. Satisfied, Mr. Right. Please continue. Yes, we will continue. Okay. Press that. We're just going to get answers out for this bit. Because, you know, pressing has its advantages. Yeah, it does. So, let's go. <clears throat> How convenient for you to remember her hippie clothes. That's what she, I mean, that's what she was wearing. Oh, and her hair was not like a bun. Uh, what happened then? She hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. Okay. Where did this weapon come from? She picked it up from the desk. I see. What sort of weapon was it? That that clock. Um, the statuary clock. The finger, I think. Hold on a second. How would she know it's the clock? How would she know it was the finger? I'm gonna present the finger. Yeah, how does she know it's a clock? Miss May? What you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you, naughty Mr. Lawyer? You just said that this statue of the thinker was a clock. But there's no way of you knowing that just by looking at it. Herb. Another person in the same position as you recently said this this called this a clock too. He was found guilty of murder. Order, order. Miss May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? Ooh, herb. The witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the witness with trivial concerns. Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. No, we won't. But questions are all I have, Your Honor. As you may recall, I've called murderers with these questions before. Well, only once. Objection sustained. You may continue to question the witness. Phew, that was, cl that was close. If he still be dead, the trial would be over. Huh? What? So what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How do you know it was a clock? What? That, that's... Because I heard it. Yes, I heard it at the time. So you've been to the law offices of Fay and Co? No, 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 no. Hey, I didn't say that. Then why would I go there? I heard that from my hotel room. <laughs> the law offices of Fay and Co, where the murder took place, are very close to the hotel. She could have easily heard the clock. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? No, why would we? No, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because... It couldn't have wrong. Or she couldn't have heard it. Couldn't have wrong, really. 
Your Honor, members of the court. I succeed without the cloaking question rang. Yeah, do you know why? Do you know why? Because, um... Remember I didn't ring? Because in the com phone conversation, Mia said she took out the clockwork, so... Nothing, it's not broken and the batteries aren't dead. The clockwork, it was empty. That clockwork was missing its clockwork. How could you possibly just have a look as soon as you can? Oh! See anything interesting, Your Honor? It says the difference says. This clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. Mr. Wright, why would you care to would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar. For fat? Yeah, you heard us well. Well, Miss May? Uh, you, is, you would have something to say. <laughs> Quite a show you've put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty? Somehow? He knew? I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty. As you say, you can't ring. However, you must ask, when was the clock broke for good? If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there is no contradiction. Hmm, that's true. There is a possibility. The clock might have emptied after she heard it. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clockwork was removed? Ho oh, oh, ho, impossible, of course. I have proof. What, what? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence that proves the clockwork was removed is... Well, Maya said she recorded a conversation about her and Mia talking about the evidence, so let's present it. Take a look at this. Hmm, that's a very cute cell phone. Oh ho, you have a girly phone. Wait, wait, this isn't my phone. Listen, this is a defendant's cell phone and it contains a recording. A recording of the conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order, order. The defendant's cell phone? That, this wasn't brought to my attention. Perhaps Detective Gomshu overlooked it? But I remember he's up for evaluation. My heart goes out to you, Edgeworth. Not. Let's hear the conversation. So you just want me to hold on to the finger for you then? If you could. Ah, I should probably tell you that the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take out the clockwork. Sorry. September 5th, 927 AM. Your Honor, I think this recording makes it clear that the clockwork has already gone. And this was recorded in the morning, death before the witness even arrived at her hotel. Well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know that the weapon was a clock? Well, well, isn't it obvious? I saw the, that clock before. Um, what store was it again? I, I go to so many. Oops, I forgot. So the witness had seen it before. That would make sense. Does the defense have any objections, Mr. Wright? Yes, we do have an objection. The witness claims she had seen it before. But this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Well then, let's see it. Please produce this evidence that will... The witness has not seen this clock before. Well, I'm going to present the thinker again. Why? Because, as Larry said um, in the first trial, there's only two made. So let's present it. It's simple. This clock was never in any store, ever. What? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the only, and the one it, that isn't here is in police custody. Impossible. Everything is sold in stores. The 
Miss May, I think it's high time you went better. Sh uh, wait. Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Oof. Oh, excuse is not on sale today. <laughs> That's actually a good one, Phoenix. I like it. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, they're exposing there. Oh, 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 Murph. Oh god, oh my god, she's, look at her, she's, oh my god, what a girl. What's to you, porcupine head? That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it, die! Oh wow, she changed immediately, Smith. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, 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 we're still gonna get ahead of ourselves. This is a cool draw, and the witness will remain calm. <sighs> <sighs> Oh, 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 this is silly me. Did I mm, like music? I guess I did. <laughs> Sc scary. Miss May, let me ask. Tell me how did you know the weapon was a clock? Oh god, look at that stare she's giving us. Oh my god, she's such a scary girl. Hmm, oh dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. It's April May. You knew the clock was a weapon because... You had heard of her. She did. Obviously she didn't commit the murder because she wasn't there. The only person that was there was Mia Maya at the time when Mia was there. So she wasn't there. She's the one that called the police. So we can't say you held it. You have heard about it. Remember the wiretap we found in the um, in her hotel room? That's the only way she would heard it. She probably tapped the victim's she probably had something like tapping the victim's phone. That's the only way she could have heard about it. The witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a clock. She heard? That is correct, Your Honor. There is no other way she could have known the thing was a clock. And I can show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. Let's see it then. The evidence has proven that the witness heard about the murder weapon with the clock. Like I said, remember I said it, that's the way I tap. Present it. Have a look at this. Ah! Ooh, that, that. <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room. Mr. White, please explain to court what this is. Miss April May, you were tapping the victim, Miss Mia Face Fall, were you not? Oh, oh. Your Honor, Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure it is. Objection overruled. It troubles me that our witness is using procession of a wiretap. This is outrageous. Does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which is not, you still have the proof. You still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah? I think I can. It's simple. What? Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon the clock is. Or is that the cell phone again? Because she recorded a lot of conversation with that. I present the defendant's cell phone. Yes, we've seen that. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on to for me. Again? What, what's it What's it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like that statue, the finger, and it tells you the time. Ah, see? Miss April May? You used the wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the finger was a clock. Am I wrong? I... I... Objection! Your Honor, let, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does that seem, does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. La, la, uh. Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May. Shut up, all of you. What gives you right to talk to me like that? You, you lawyer. She's freaking scary, man. It, it's no fair. 
one of you are ganging up on me like that. Oh, I'm such a bad girl. Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> that did it. The crew has seen the real Miss April May now. Now to do the final blow. Well, she didn't murder. She didn't murder her. I'm just gonna say why the wire tap. Why did you tap her phone? Answer the question. Do I have to? Isn't this a murder trail? Isn't Tiffany tapping her irrelevant? Gah, she's saying exactly what Edric wants her to say. Miss May, you were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. Who does not condone the defense's tone of speech? He has a point. Oh, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? Can you prove that you had nothing to do with the murder? You know you tapped her phone? Ha! I'd like to see her pull that off. Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin. You were probably thinking I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? Damn, she's good. Well, you're not the first man who thought that, and of course I can, and I will. You can't be serious. No way. Way, I say. Way. And I assure you, I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. Hmph. Huh. Okay, so the killing happened at nine at night? Why, that's just when I was getting room service from that sweet bellboy. At room service? Iced coffee, I believe it was. Iced coffee, you know. Like normal coffee, but cold. If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts and then you don't, then you have it regular cold coffee. A uh, ice coffee? Think I'm making this up? Ask the bellboy. Wink. Here you go. The witness was not on the scene of the crime at the time of the murder. Oh wow. Damn. So, where does this leave us? It is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's phone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant, my faith, commit murder. No, they're going to let her just walk away. There's no way I can win this unless Miss May to the murder. I, I tie Miss May, Miss May to the murder somehow. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Um, well, come on, think of something. Well, that's the decision we're going to leave to the next video. When we come back, folks, we'll play more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Until then, until then, thanks for watching.